So recent studies show that 60% of all international travelers are trying to seek out sustainable options, sustainable tourism products. Um, one part of sustainability as we're struggling with global warming and climate change is to reduce our consumption of meat. This is always a tricky issue. Uh, you don't have to be vegetarian 24 seven to reduce your consumption of meat and make a positive impact on your footprint in your lifestyle. And people are starting to seek out less meat, less fish, options when they travel as well. So it makes sense that places in Japan, like any place around the world, has a lot of demand for meat-free, fish-free options or vegetarian options. High demand for vegetarian and vegan options from travelers in Japan, which is changing the game for a lot of eateries who are catering to international visitors. I'd like to introduce two places. Uh, one place is kind of a more typical eatery. They want to attract more international visitors. They had an idea, oh, we're having a lot of demand for vegan vegetarian, and they created a vegetarian burger or vegan burger if you get it without the bun. The second place is kind of a higher level vegetarian only restaurant that has a really wide, extensive menu. But there is a lot of good ideas at both places, and it's interesting to look at um, how they introduce their place and their products and their reasoning behind it. あ、それ Alright, so this is the veggie burger mm -hmm. and it would be vegan except for the bun has a little bit of egg in it, but it looks awesome. Can I fit it in my mouth? What do you think? I think it should. <laughs> Okay, we're here at Sai Shoku Kenbi. Is it? Extensive, extensive vegetarian menu. <laughs> Very extensive. This is probably the most extensive uh, menu with completely vegetarian options that I've probably ever seen. Um, so that's really incredible. And they've got even like ramen and like tantan men and kima curries and I mean curry yeah you would expect but like tantan men is something I don't think I've ever seen at a vegetarian place um, and the sukiyaki as well yeah and sukiyaki the uh, katsu curry tukaku kimchi lokomoko hayashi rice and, and they've just got these great options Perfect for vegetarians and non vegetarians alike. <laughs> yeah, Ano Kantan ni, Ano Sonna ni, Nantin Disca, Ano Stricto Janakute, Ano Yasayo Tanoshimeru, Omisis. Karada no Koto Kanga, Ano 
健康にいいね食事がしたいなって思うとあの今ってあの検索すると簡単に情報が得られるんでそれで菜食兼備のことを知って来ていただけることが多いです、ね、コロッケとか、はい、こういうあのハンバーグここのお店で使われているこういうハンバーグとかも手作りで作っていてパッキングして一つ一つ。であのお店で東京のお店でもこういうハンバーグとかを使って簡単に提供できるようになってます。はい、こういうあのコロッケとかこういうあのそうパスタソースとかもあの作ったりとかしてますね。ソイミートをあの調理してボイルして味をつけて一本一本手で刺してます。すごい。手間手間けてお店の方で売ってるので、うんはい、まだ広島はベジタリアンが多くないのでそんなに利用者がないんですけど、はい、日本でもだんだんベジタリアンが増えてきていて。はい Uh, vegetarians would have trouble buying ready made foods, for example,、um, pasta sauces,、uh, ramen, other instant noodles, but these are all vegetarian, made in Japan products. So you can come and buy things that you might be worried about has meat or fish stock, but here it would be all vegetarian. They also have some ready made foods. Um, which she was talking about before, right?、Mm -hmm. And、um, some popular items are like vegetarian gyoza and vegetarian meats, koroke, hamburgers. hamburgers. So, before a lot of the stuff is also made in Tokyo, right? Yeah, they have their own.、Um, like the koroke, was it? Yeah, like the, I think the hamburger、mm -hmm. and the koroke are all made by,、um, they're all basically made by. Their company, right? So that they have a hand in it, they know what goes in it, and they know that it's、um, up to their standards. They have people enjoy eating their vegetables. So, not so much to be like hardcore, strict vegetarian, vegan, rah, rah, rah. It's more like enjoy it. Like, don't think of it as something that's like, oh, that's vegetarian. No,、yeah. like, enjoy your vegetables. And that's the entire point of s a i s h o k u n So, to start attracting more sustainability focused travelers, Eateries can start to offer on the menu all the time at least one or two or more vegan and vegetarian options. Just remember, it's not as difficult as it seems at first. As long as you start at the most basic level, when you're making the stock for the dish, make sure it's made from vegetables, from mushrooms, from kombu seaweed. To give it that rich umami flavor. And then, if you add meat or add fish on top of that for a meat eater or a fish eater who is dining at your restaurant, it's easy. It's possible. You can do it for everybody. So, if you start on that bottom level with vegan and then add things for vegetarians or add things for meat eaters, you can still cater to everyone. And everyone who visits your restaurant should have at least one thing to eat every time. And then you will really start to attract more visitors, more customers who feel confident that when they go to your place, they will be able to eat. <laughs>